Hey everyone, welcome to this module, Create Page Fragments. This is for the developer persona, and we are in Liferay DXP 7.3. Some key module takeaways to keep in mind as we're progressing along. We want to learn how to create page fragments using the Fragment Generator, package a collection of fragments and import into a Liferay DXP instance, and create a content page using a collection of fragments. If you're following along with our exercises, we have some prerequisites for you here. Make sure you have the Java JDK installed to run Life Radio XP. You can download the JDK here from this Oracle link. When you unzip your module exercise files, make sure you do so in the following folder structure. If you're on Windows, make sure you're in C slash Liferay. And if you're on a Unix system, that'll be in your user home slash Liferay directory. So to just get our bearings with the teams that we're going to be thinking about for Livingston Hotels and Resorts, we have the web team responsible for implementing the branding and functionality to provide the ideal user experience for customers and employees. We have the design team responsible for producing mockups for the web developers and the web developers who are responsible for implementing those mockups. And they expect to use technologies that they are familiar with like NPM, Yeoman, and React. Here are the two KPIs we can be using to measure our success. We want to increase user engagement with front end design and we want to decrease site building and content creation time. So let's go ahead and get started with page fragments. So what are page fragments? From a high level view, they're a combination of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript that act as reusable and editable pieces of site pages. So these are visual elements of a page and they can be interacted with as well. You can use page fragments to create sections and components of a page. This could be anything from calls to action, banners, carousels, customer quotes, you name it. There's a lot of different things we can do to customize page fragments. In our image, this entire piece here is a page fragment. This is something we could place on a page. So not only does it have text and a graphic, but it also has a button we can interact with as well. Fragments are broken up into two types, sections and components. So sections are fragments of a page that define things like column, padding, and spacing. They're gonna provide structure to the page. Then we have fragment components. These are the fragments that contain text, rich text, and image content. And components are added to the fragment sections. You can think of sections as a framework and then components as the items that are being housed in that framework. As you can see down here on the right, we are trying to create a new fragment for the first time and we have the option to either create a section or a component. So we have a section on the right of our editor called Fragments and Widgets. And you see we can choose between the two tabs here. And this is where fragments are stored inside of collections. Collections can be used to manage and group fragments. So we have a hierarchy to make it a little easier to organize everything. Collections group related fragments together for easier management. When building a content page, fragments are organized by collection and can be found in the side panel. There's a lot more than this, but in the yellow box, there's an example of some different types of fragments we can use. 